number 10 says, find the diameter of a circle with an area of 240.25 pi meter millimeters squared. So right here, what we're given is we're trying to find the diameter. That's our goal. We're trying to find the diameter of a circle with an area of 245, or 240.25 pi millimeters squared. So one thing we need to see this, this is in terms of pi. So they want an exact answer. So we're not really estimating, we're kind of just leaving that 3.14159 away. We're leaving that value of pi, just keeping it consistent so our numbers are a little bit more pretty without that irrational number making it all, uh, let's just say, irrational. Like repeating, going all the crazy stuff. All right, so what we have here is an area. Remember, area is equal to uh, pi r squared. So we will have to look, based off what I know, is we have to find the radius using what we're given is the area. Here, we need to find the diameter. And diameter is equal to 2 or is equal to 2 times r, so 2r, right here. And we'll be able to get our diameter once we get our radius. All right, let's have at it. So we write right here, 240.25 pi millimeter squared equals pi r squared. So the first thing I want to do is divide by the value of pi. Pi divided by pi, well, they're going to cancel out. So now we're left with 240.25 millimeter squared equals r squared. So the inverse of a square is a square root. We want to square root both sides. 240.25 square root. And you get about 15.5 millimeters. As you can see, we found our radius, so we're going to plug it into here. So we have right here, d is equal to 2 times 15.5 millimeters. So 15.5 times 2 would get you 31. So our diameter is roughly 31 millimeters. All right, and that's how you would do number Number 11, it says find the radius of a circle with a circumference of 45 pi centimeters. So first, we're trying to find a radius. We're trying to find a radius. We're trying to find a radius of a circle with a circumference of 45 pi centimeters. So the way we're going to approach this problem, it's not too bad. So the way we're going to approach it is what we're going to do is we need to use c is equal to 2 pi r. We're going to use this formula over the c equals uh, diameter times pi because we're looking for, ding, 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 the radius. All right. So the way we're going to approach this is we're going to plug in everything we know. So we get right here, we have 45 pi centimeters is equal to 2 pi r. So last time when we did this, we made this into a 6.28, or we could get real fancy and multiply 3.14159 by 2, but we haven't. So we're going to divide both sides by 2 pi. We'll just do that all at once, because we want to isolate that r. So what's going to happen here? is pi cancels, and you just do 45 divided by 2, and you get 22.5 centimeters is equal to the radius. And that's exactly what we were looking for. So in terms of pi, that's all that you have to really do. Now, number 12. Number 12 says find the area of a circle with a circumference of 11 pi feet. So find the area 
with a circumference. So this one's working a little bit more than what we're used to. So we want to find right here, we want to find the area. We want to find the area of a circle with a circumference of 11 pi feet. So in order to use area, in order for us to use this, we need to find area, we need to have our radius. We need that in order for this to work. So what we're going to do is we have to use our circumference formula first. C is equal to 2 pi r. We want that radius. We want that radius because once we find the radius, we're going to plug her into there to find the area. So we're going to plug in what we're given, the circumference, which is 11 pi feet, is equal to 2 pi r. So I'm not going to combine these because it's in terms of pi, but they are multiplied by each other, so we're going to keep, just keep them together and divide both sides by it. This cancels, and you get 11 divided by 2. You get 5.5 feet. Cancels, and then you just do 11 divided by 2, which gets you 5.5 feet equals the radius. Well, look at that. We found our radius. So now we're going to plug her on in over there. So we have area is equal to pi times 5.5 feet squared. 5.5 feet squared gets you area is equal to 30 point, uh, th we have right here, it says 30.2. We'll just make it 30.3, uh, yeah, make it 30.3. 30.3 .3. 30 .3 pi, uh, let me just redo that, area is equal to 30.3 pi feet squared. And we're just going to keep it in terms of pi, in terms of pi.